Hi folks, uh, this is intended to be video number two here of a three or four part series on work. All right, what we're going to talk about in this video is how to calculate the work done on an object by a force when the force makes some sort of angle with the displacement. Now, in this example, we're going to imagine this box starts here at position one. Uh, it moves under the influence of this force over here to position two. Now, again, there, there are other forces, no doubt, acting on this box. If this were the only force acting on this box, it would accelerate along this path, right? There's probably a gravitational force and, and uh, normal and maybe some other forces. We're just gonna focus on one here, all right? The, the purpose of this video is how to calculate work done by a force vector when that force vector is not parallel to motion. So hopefully you've seen my first video on work. I wanna write this out. Work is force times distance but the force has to be parallel to the distance. When the force vector is perpendicular to the velocity vector, then the work is zero. Only forces in the direction of motion do work. Now, here we have a force that is, makes an angle theta with the displacement or the change in position. So the way we handle that, it's the same way we handle lots of vector uh, phenomena in physics, is we're gonna take this force vector and break it into components, right? So this force vector has a component to the right. Now I could call that an X component if I wanted to. I'm gonna call it something else though, if you give me a moment here. And it has a vertical component, right, which is up. So I'll go ahead and draw those vector components in red. Now what I'm gonna call these, I'm gonna call this one F parallel. This is the component of that force vector that is parallel to the velocity or parallel to the displacement, either one, doesn't matter which one you imagine there. This component is the component that is perpendicular to the displacement. When we calculate the work, right, work is force times distance, but only forces parallel to the displacement do work. So in this example, that's this guy. That's the force component I want to use to calculate the work as this goes from one to two. Now, this component is adjacent to the angle theta. Therefore, its magnitude is F cosine theta. So that represents the component of this force vector that is parallel to the motion. And then I'm just going to multiply by distance. And there you have it. So when you're dealing with work terms, or when you're dealing with forces that are kind of in a plane, maybe two-dimensional in nature, you look at the displacement of the object. In this case, it's left to right, but it can be up to down, or you know, there's uh, an infinite number of combinations. When you're trying to calculate the work done by any given force, you look for the component of that force that's in the direction of motion, then multiply by distance. Um, so I'm going to keep this video kind of short. Again, it was just intended on how to to uh, cover how to calculate a work term when the force makes an angle to the displacement. I hope that this uh, demonstrates that reasonably well. Have a great day.